Hi there and welcome at gns3volt.com Today I'm going to show you how to solve the OSPF Intermediate Lab um, So let's take a look First of all, uh, IP addresses have been pre-configured and we're going to start by configuring OSPF and we need to achieve full connectivity and of course everything should be in area 0 I'm going to do this the easy way. Just enable OSPF on every interface. There we go. Um, the next step, manually set a router ID of router 1 to this IP address and we need to check it so what are we going to do change it like this and then I'm going to reset uh, the OSPF process what else do we have um, okay, so on this segment, which is between router number 3 and 4, uh, router 3 should become the designated router. What we can see here, this is the link between router number 3 and 4. And router 4 is the designated router. And we're going to change this. And I can do this by changing the priority. And as you can see, by changing the priority, <coughs> uh, router number 3 is now the designated router. So that's all good. What else are we going to do? Uh, change the metric on the link between router 1 and 2. I'm not allowed to use the OSPF cost command. That's no problem because we can change the bandwidth as well. So that's all there is to it. We need to change the reference bandwidth to 1500. There we go. And we'll do this on all the routers. <coughs> There we go. Authentication and clear text between router 2 and 4. I'm going to wait a little bit so we can see that the neighbor adjacency is dropping because I do not have authentication on this side. It takes a little while but 
there we go. So it went down and now will uh, enable authentication on this side as well. And you can see that it's coming back up again. There we go. So we got authentication over there in clear text. We're going to do MD5 authentication between router 3 and number 4. Now you need to keep in mind that uh, there are some different commands that you need to use for MD5. There we go. Yeah, it was router 3 and 4. Okay. So I'm going to wait a little bit be, uh, just to show you that the OSPF neighborship is dropping. There we go. And now we'll do the same thing on this side. And there we go. So that's MD5 authentication. What else are we going to do? Um, change the hello timer and the dead interval. Uh, let me see between router 2 and 4 and we want a hello time of 10 seconds and a dead interval of 60 there we go Okay, we got that. What else do we want? Uh, a default route on router 4. We can do that. Mm, there we go. Let's take a look at one of the routers. There we go. As you can see, we got a default route here. Alright, what's next? Um, I need to shut down the link between router 2 and 4. Alright. So that's interface fast ethernet 1. Okay. That's good. What else are we going to do? Uh, the link between router 1 and 2 including the loopback of router 2 should be in area 1 okay we can do that let's do router number 2 first First we need to get rid of this statement and then we'll change it so it's in area um, number one I believe, yeah. There we go. So that's, um, that's all that we need to do on router 2 and of course on router 1 